Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we're going to do a get ready with me, but we're going to do my work makeup. Let's get started. Alright guys, so like I was saying, this would be my routine if I were getting ready to like go to work and what I would wear at, or the makeup that I would wear at work. It's pretty much almost the same routine, except it's everything is just kind of dulled down and a little bit lighter. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a housewife, I stay at home, but if I were going out to work, I um, would probably do this as my routine. I would wear maybe just a little bit of makeup, but not too much, but... Fun fact, here I actually used to work at a daycare way back when in the day. But it's just, I never really wore makeup back then. Like, however I looked is how I looked in the morning. I, I looked rough in the morning. But I tried to make myself as, like, presentable as possible. I just didn't really wear too much makeup back then. But anyways, this would be kind of like a simplified, dulled down version of that, if that makes sense. So first, start with the eyes. I'm using the Pretty Vulgar Unchained Eyeshadow Primer because I have nothing on my face right now. The only thing I have is some uh, moisturizer on my face just to kind of get it started. And I'm just trying to use all this up until I, or I'm trying to use all this up before I open up a new eye primer. but I did not really give you guys a chance to really see that, but this is what that looks like. So yeah, um, I guess I wouldn't wear too much makeup to work anyway, but this would be my routine. I keep explaining that, hopefully that makes sense. So I would wear eyeshadow, but I would keep it very like, you know, not as hyped as what I use, or not as you know, loud is what I normally do. Today I'm going to use the uh, Makeup Revolution London Soap X Extra Spicy Eyeshadow Palette here. So yeah, normally I have, like a bunch of color on my eyes, but today we're going to dull that down. And I think we're just going to put cookie dough all over the eye. So that light brown right there, just to kind of, you know, have something there, but not anything too crazy. So I could wear makeup in my job. I know some people, I don't know, would have maybe restrictions on what kind of makeup they would wear it, or they could wear at their work, but my job really didn't. Um, but I worked in daycare, so like nobody was like paying attention to like my makeup anyway, and it was in the infant room. So with that being said, the babies did not care what I looked like. And guys, I think the only thing I'm going to do is just take a blending brush to that and just kind of blend that out a little bit better. And if you can hear my cat crying outside the door. And to be honest, guys, that would be it for eye makeup. No uh, shimmer on there today, just keep it nice and simple. And that is that. Next here, we're gonna move on to lashes. I would wear just a little bit of mascara. This is the Maybelline New York uh, Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. But yeah, I typically did not wear any makeup to work, but if I did, my routine would pretty much go like this. Don't worry, I'm gonna clean up underneath my eyes here in just a sec. There we go. Now for primer here, I would use the Maybelline New York Bay, or Master Prime uh, Primer Base Blur and Smooth. Just to cover, or help blur out some of the little friends I have on my face here. Also guys, I wanted to just let you know, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. There is nothing wrong with having acne or pimples on your face. It's textured skin and it is perfectly all right to have 
people go through it and it is just fine. So don't let anybody like put you down because of that. You know what I mean? I've struggled with acne all my life. It is just something I deal with and it is what it is, but there is nothing wrong with having textured skin. Just little announcement for you. <laughs> now I would go with a really, really light uh, foundation or a tinted moisturizer. Today I'm using the Wet and Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator and I have mine in the shade Porcelain. Uh, this is also oil-free, by the way, sheer to medium. And I completely forgot to grab a sponge. One second. Now, fortunately for me, I worked in a place where it had air conditioning, but I know some, I would do a lot of running around. Um, and I would get sweaty sometimes, even in the air conditioning. So I would definitely go with the hydrator and then we're gonna put some powder on here in a little while just to make sure that makeup doesn't run. Ooh, there it went. It exploded. But I would want light coverage and not something heavy on my face. And just pulling it down on my neck here. There we go, guys. I adjusted my lighting set. Looks a little bit better. And it wasn't showing up so bright. Sorry about that. Okay, now for some concealer. I would go with a very light concealer, but also has some hydration in it. And I also got to clean up underneath my eyes anyway. This is the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Glow Wand Mascara. And I have mine in the shade Sunbeam. Let me take it out and show you. But this is what it looks like. And it has like a little sponge on this side that you use underneath your eyes. And this part also comes out, which is cool. Comes in handy. But then on this side is the actual wand. This is probably like one of my favorite um, concealers. And I would just do a little bit underneath the eyes, not too much. And then just to kind of cover up some of my little friends here, which I don't really have much today, luckily. And I would just do that. And then I would take the little sponge here and just do that. Can you guys hear that rain? That came on so suddenly. All right guys, so here's what we're looking like here. Nothing too crazy. And then before we add the powder, I'm gonna go ahead and add my bronzer blush and just a little bit of highlight, but I'm gonna keep this very, very um, light as possible. So for bronzer, I would use, this is the uh, Seraphine Botanicals Prime Rose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette. And I'm also gonna use that as a bronzer and a blush today with a little bit of it on my lips as well. So I'm gonna use this color right here as a bronzer. And what I am gonna do here is just take some on my finger like so, and just kind of do like the fish face. And just do that. This is, is a cream. And we are gonna definitely blend that out here in just a sec. I would do it just like that, and then I would take my sponge here and just kind of blend that out really well. Because I wanted it to be just like the tiniest bit of color, but not much. Just like that. And then I am going to take 
I'm thinking this color right here for some blush. So that middle one here, get a bunch on my finger here. And don't worry, we're definitely gonna blend this out too. We're just gonna kinda go like so. Just like that. And take it, blend it out. It's nice because it's a cream, so it blends out really easy. So it looks like I just have like some blush on my cheeks, but not too much. So there's that all blended out and there's that all blended out. And then we're gonna come back to that here in a little bit because now we're gonna go do highlight real quick. I am using the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter palette here. And with a very, very light hand, I'm actually gonna use my finger for this too. I am gonna use spoiler alert. So this one down here, and I'm just gonna take my finger like so. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly kind of put that on the nose, Cupid's bow, and then cheeks, cheekbones. And then take my sponge once again and really blend that out. There it goes. So just lightly there. So there's something there, but not too much. Now, like I was saying earlier, I don't use powder too terribly often, but I figured if I'm at work and I'm gonna be like running around being busy and I may sweat a little bit. I don't want all this to come off like at noon. So I am just gonna use the tiniest bit of powder here and I am using the OV, OPV, OP, OPV Beauty uh, London Translucent, Translucent Loose Setting Powder here. And it just looks like that. And I'm not gonna use too terribly much, probably just what I have in the cap there. And I would take, let's see here. Use a brush here. And lightly just kind of dust this on my face. So that way I am matte, but the makeup still isn't gonna go anywhere and it's gonna stay on all day. Cause you know, you worked hard on it. You want it to last. Down my neck too, just to make sure that tinted hydrator stays on. So yes, you are gonna be matte, but you do have some hydration underneath the powder, if that makes sense. So you're not like sticky if you happen to touch your face too, which is nice. Make sure I brush it all over, like so. And that is it for that. Of course, you make a mess of powder either way, in my opinion. I love this powder, but it is just messy. I have a whole mess in front of me now. Give me just a second to clean that up, guys. It's one nice thing about powder, you don't go through it too quickly, because especially me, because I don't use it that often and a little bit goes a long way. And we're just about done here, guys. We're gonna go back to that uh, Primrose and Cream uh, Lip and Cheek palette here. And once again, with just using my finger, if I can get it back open, there we go. I'm gonna go in with this darker color right here and I'm just gonna lightly put that on my face. By the way, guys, this house smells amazing. It's kind of like your lips were better. Does that make sense? 
where it looks like it has like just a tint to see the color in it, like a lip tint. There we go, so that's what that looks like. And then, so my lips are actually looking brighter than what I want them to be, so I am gonna add just a little bit of lip gloss to them. This is a clear gloss. This is the TFB Trust Fund Beauty Better Than Therapy Lip Oil. You can also use it as a gloss. There's a little bit of gold flakes in there, but you can't really see them on the lips. I'm gonna use that because my lips are dry anyway, so we're gonna add just a little bit of hydration to them. And then I would just take my finger and just kind of smooth that out like so. There we go. And then, to be honest guys, I would add just a little bit of setting spray to my face. I am not going to do it now because I don't want to get my mic wet, wet, but I would do it after I was obviously all done with my makeup. Uh, no shiny uh, setting spray, just a matte setting spray and I would be good to go for the day. Obviously this would be done a lot quicker, but since I'm explaining it as I'm doing it to you guys, this is, uh, it took me a little bit longer. but. Yeah guys, this is the final look. This is how I would do my makeup if I were going to work. But I will give you a close up here. And give you kind of like a little bit farther away version here. But yeah guys, I actually really do like how this turned out. Now, if I were to wear makeup to work, this is exactly how I would do it. Something very light, natural, not heavy. But thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And as always, guys, if you want to see more me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, behind the little bell over there to see future uploads from me. Uh, as always, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, just watching my videos. It does help me out a lot and I do truly appreciate it. I am going to go ahead and head out for the day, and I will see you guys soon with another new video. Bye, guys.